Jungle Beats, baby. We got finally getting to Death Grips. This has been, if this, it's probably one of the most highly requested. It's been requested artists. since, since I think we put out sort of when, when the Joji videos were popping off. I think like, and I think every video we have at least like two, sometimes like even more. And then when we did our um, Patreon, so you pronounce it? Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> when you do Patreon, uh, it was the highest voted one, which right. is hence why we're doing it now. So we thought instead of just going to the more popular albums, we do what we did for uh, for Triple X, because that's how I pronounce the name. We'd go back from the beginning and work our way up. This might not be exactly the beginning of all this content, but this is the beginning as far as like an album goes. So we'll start off with the money store. Neither mm -hmm. of us have heard mm -hmm. a single track. Twenty twelve. I've never never heard a Death Grips track in my life. No. Um, we know Anthony Fantono highly regards them. Mm -hmm. um, one of his favorite, I don't even know a genre, um, but one of his favorite uh, groups. Um, I look forward to whatever this, this is about to happen. You're looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm looking forward I've to heard, it. I've heard many things. I don't know if it'll be my thing, but I'm excited to see how I'm gonna react and talk about this we shit. Got some people in, we got some people around. Oh, yeah, we, so we, you might see some people jump in. Um, feels, like, feels like a good energy coming. Jungle Beats, the, uh, social media, Instagram, Twitter. All of that shit's above me. Check it out. All right. Let's get it. But this is The Money Store, released in 2012. Death first, Grips. First track. Jungle Beats. Get gut. Let's get it. Okay. Uh, that shit was different. <laughs> that production was nice though. I wonder if their style is going to be very similar to this, like the very distorted vocals with like the... Because you can always, I can't really, I don't even comprehend what they're saying. Oh no, I know what the fuck he was saying. Like, I don't, is that not on purpose or our speaker's kind of messed up? Like, I don't... No, no, no I think it's definitely intended. Like, because we had some shit before. I, I think that this is probably the style we're going to be going hearing from this album. The production is real, like, it seems like a mixture of, yeah. It's eclectic, like, I rock, don't know if that's the right word. Like, rock, like industrial rock with a big sort of experimental electronic, electronic hip-hop vibe. That's exactly what I'm hearing from this first track. Like, five I think you may have one. just described Death Grips in like one sentence. I mean, maybe if, all their sound, if their music sounds like this. Maybe. Yeah, it's a pretty dope start. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Yeah, definitely like, intrigued. Like um... What we got next? I don't know, I never quite heard something like that. Next track, The Fever, AA. I've never heard anything like this in my life. <laughs> I, no, I haven't. I don't know. I've never heard such a collection of sounds before. Uh, it's given me, it's given me like a more experimental Aesop Rock vibe. Aesop Rock's okay. production is very know. similar. This just not as sporadic, but uses the same sort of like the same sort of electronic notes, the same sort of uh, the bass that is used. Feels like a clusterfuck. Like I think, I, that's, I think that's what it's intended. It's a clusterfuck of so many different genres, but really well done. Because like when the drop comes, you're like, oh, this one the bass kicks in. Like, no, they're just like this low, deep sort of guitar sounds and the booming, like distorted vocals come in. But when they drop the production at some parts of the song and they boost up the, not the boost up the vocals, but the vocals are more prominent, yeah. those are the sections I really like. I feel like there's, there's fucking... I think it's drowned out again, you hear that... Yeah, da -da 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 it drowns out. And the fucking... I know, I fucking like that track. I feel like the drowning out is, might be like a, a Death Grips kind of sound. I think so. I think the, the drowned out distortion definitely is what they're going for. But I can't think of many other people to do it. Like, as is for a whole album. I know artists have fuck with it, but not for whole albums. People left them at work, and now I have like 30 scarves. Death Grips. Lost Boys. <laughs> this is what you asked for! This is what you get!
Was that a didgeridoo? Yeah, that might have been some distorted, weird didgeridoo. You know what I like about this? What do you like about this? Is they took away the rock essence of this song, and this was a drum and bass essence. If you're familiar with drum and bass essence, there's a lot of music, there's a bit of a drum and bass influence in this track for sure, with all the sound effects, the uh, obviously the drums. But they've still kept the distortion, they've kept the <coughs> they've kept that sort of feel, the tone going with that. They've still kept like a lot of the, the sporadic changes in the music, but they've also just switched out a different genre for another genre, but kept their sound. So at the moment, like I can see how they're defining like a, because it's the album that obviously defined them and they got really bigger after oh, this album. This is this is the one? Well it's their first one. I feel like the first album of most artists is what puts them on the map and what keeps them going. Okay, okay. So I feel like this is when people would be like, oh shit, I haven't heard this shit before. Oh shit, they're doing this again, but in a different way, but it's still holding through their own sound, which I feel like so many artists struggle with because so many artists will try and change the sound up, but keep their own sound, but be so influenced by another artist or so into this other sound, they'll completely like lose their own sound. <clears throat> Whereas from what I'm hearing, they're keeping their own sound, whereas changing genres. I don't know what to feel about this. I think it's really fucking dope so far. Okay. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna connect my phone to uh, this this uh, to this, hot, this hotspot so I can maybe live stream. Hey, let's do it. You know what death grip is? Death grip. When you hold something really tight. Specifically a certain thing. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Cool. That's all you need to know. I know what you're talking about. I've heard that reference. Do you have a death grip, you, co you cocky? Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, come in. Come in. This is a little, this is a little, uh, a little entrepreneur pew. What? Entrepreneur pew. It's my new word for inviting Ian to here. What's up? Yo, love the delivery boy. Get yeah. out of here. Every person that steps Makes in, I've got to put tunes. like a fucking graphic above their head. <laughs> the fucking whole it. thing. Oh, I've got to fade it out. I started using Twitter more now too, so um, you have to add that now. <laughs> right. Tell us exactly what a death grip is. It's that, well, I mean, if you have to ask, ask him. you'll never I'm know. Asking. If you have to ask, you'll never know. You heard it from <laughs> the delivery boy himself. If you have to ask what death grip is, then you're never gonna know. I don't know what it is still. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's something to do with what I'm holding. Hmm. Do you like cabbage? Yeah. Do you like to have it in soup? Yeah. Would you ever put a leash around one and walk it around the world and take photos of it? Yeah, at least twice. Someone did that. Really? Yeah, there's a there's a website dedicated towards someone who had a cabbage, dressed it up, and took it around the world, took photos with it. Really? Yeah. 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 I didn't even know. What <laughs> Woo! Elephant is a delivery boy. Uh, yeah, money store? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It is. Blackjack. Let's get it. Just another clusterfuck of, of oh, different sounds. You see what a horizontal. I can't make it horizontal because I don't know how to unlock your phone. People <laughs> <laughs> saying to come on them. Huh? You got a lot of people telling you to come on them. Excuse me? You got a lot of people telling you guys to come on them. Come on their ass, come on their tits. <laughs> Wait, I can't tell you being serious right now. React to ex military. People also want to know why you guys are up to that track. Why, why, we, why, we, why were you guys up to that song? Because we listened to the first three tracks. Yes, they've already listened to the first three yeah. songs. So we, no. we didn't live stream at the beginning because we're fucking. Yeah. Come um, on, these kids. Anyway. <laughs> oh, is that right, a female wait. or a guy? That's Tommy Tom. It's a guy, man. Could be. You know, Hang on, I want to talk about that track. Yeah, let's, let's talk about that. So, another clusterfuck of sounds. I don't really know what to feel like. It's, it's very new to me. Yeah, well. I'm, I'm sort of familiar with some of the sounds, which is why I'm really getting into it because I've never sort of experienced these sort of genres meshing together because once again he's like the drum and bass has sort of been taken away the rockers the, like the real industrial rocks come back in the distortion's still there of course and the sounds the sounds are just constantly 
change and like also the beat have you noticed like you'll be nodding your head and all of a sudden you're like oh shit they yeah, switched that drum up like, God. yeah they did that so many times I had to like rearrange my head nods because they're just because <laughs> I just like I, I love I love when tracks do that I love when tracks like switch it up like they can, they can take things off off sync and then sync it back up again but make it in a way that makes it fluent it's a talent for a producer to do that or just bands in general. And they make you rearrange your, your Yeah, your I love when I get rearranged, especially when like when you realize that, oh shit, that actually works. It's good. I, I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm hearing so far. I'm, right. I'm, I'm digging what they're doing. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. the artistic creativity that, that makes them apparently so unique. Mm. Um, hustle Bones. <laughs> Best track so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's the best track. So Holy far. shit. They have no patterns. That's what I'm realizing. There's no pattern. It's 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 just their own terms. They're just doing music on their own terms. There's no like structure to me. Like classical structure. It's like well, yeah, that's right. They're, they're throwing there's structure the to them, but like in to terms them. of making music how you would normally make music. Like it's, it's completely thrown out the window. Yeah, the chorus, verse, hook, whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it all. <laughs> We're doing our own <laughs> shit. Fuck. Fucking hell, that was a that was a real dope beat. Like the fucking and the fucking drums coming in and out and the, the vocals. Like even at the end we like it became more clear at the end. That mm, last fucking verse which he punched in there. Like it was still distorted, but it was like a lot clearer, like. Yeah. Just really well done. They're just 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 you know, just doing shit differently. Uh I've seen footage. I think, uh, I think it's probably the most lackluster track we've heard so far because there's probably, from what we've heard so far, it's been a lot of clusterfucks. I could probably say that that's the less clusterfuck we've heard so far. Because it kind of had like- It's a very repeated, repetitive hook. It, the hook, yeah, exactly. Because And also footage. the whole, the whole bit of the dun, dun, like the, 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 the main melody in that song was prominent throughout most of that song. There's always more taking and adding away like the other tracks, but the melody was more prominent, which is why it took away from everything we've heard so far. It's an interesting observation, considering how chaotic we've, the music has been so far. Well, yeah, but that's what I was really enjoying. I was enjoying the, the constant switch-ups, yeah. all the different array of sounds. Like, there's even, like, like a three minutes of, or three seconds of a flute in that song that I heard, and that was it. I was like, oh, are they going to bring it back? No, just three seconds of a random fucking flute. It's but, so, it sounds so unconventional to what typical music would, how would be, would be made. Yeah, but definitely the... Not necessarily weakest, but the, tr the track so far that hasn't really surprised and made me be like, wow. Like, that's sort of a track that was like, cool, I'm, I'm getting accustomed to your sound, but that track really doesn't do what I've heard so far as much. So, I like the first five tracks more, but it's still, it's still showing me what Death Grips are. It's good, it's cool. They're cool. It's cool. We're Got a lot of our comments on your uh, similarities to Zane Malik. We also have people saying uh, that you're like Drake. Zane Malik is Alex Sandow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like Drake and Zane Malik. Yeah. 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 the dreads i am selling them my barber place will buy them at three dollars per dread this is legit i'm i'm happy to take bidders if someone wants to buy a dread or a multiple dreads um you weird, we can man. put we can put them on okay. <laughs> you, you, were comment, you, were, you were commenting all the videos saying i'll send you on the mail i thought it was a joke nope. you're being serious I'm dead ass damn double helix let's get to it hey Oh! 
was really dope. That's some dope shit. That fucking the bell. That bell. And it was great because they had really it at a stage good. where I noticed that every time it came in at intervals, it was like a different time. It was never like a structured time. It'd be uh. like boom, like eight dings, boom, three dings. Like oh just, really? Yeah, different intervals. It just goes to show that just they're structuring. Is no structuring to us. Well, well exactly. Well, especially like at the end where they just took away the beat, added this. I don't know what the fuck they put in there, and then just faded back in the fucking beat, and like not in tune with what they were playing before. Like it was all just. Back to that cluster fuck that we're growing to. I wonder how this came about. How how I'm, this sound? I'm gonna go ahead and say drugs. <laughs> <laughs> just just gonna put it out there. <laughs> or just a wild imagination. But then I have a wild imagination. I, you I, do. You do say some crazy I shit. Could, I could. I could. I do say some crazy shit. I do. And you don't really take drugs, so. No, I don't. Not here anyway. No. You're always sober when we do this. Yeah, I don't really. Don't really. I'm pretty crazy. I think. I wonder if I, if I wasn't as crazy as I was if, I, if I'd be more inclined to be more experimental with drugs. Or maybe like you get to a stage where you're more open to that or maybe just always know that you don't need it. I don't know, that's why I like humans, man. We're all different. We all like to do different things. That was a dope track. Death Grips, holler at me. What's up, girl? Uh, if someone drops a $50 super chat, I'll send you a couple of dreads. Um, but that's a big ask, so I, that's <laughs> tough. That's tough. Yo. Uh, System blower. I don't know what's going on. Apparently, a lot of people love this shit, but I can see what. That was that was awesome. You didn't like that? I'm just confused. I'm just not used to this. I mean, I don't know. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Mm. But I don't know what to feel. Like I like moving and dancing and flowing with music, right? It's energy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what type of energy to feel. Angry, I'm, sad, happy. What's well, the thing? I'm feeling like a, I'm feeling like a lot of like a huge burst of energy, like with the vocals. Like I'm not sure what you're saying, but the way he does, like I just feel like I want to get up and like not hit something, but just like sort of like inner happy rage. Happy rage. Like okay. happy rage. So the opposite, like the other spectrum of XXX tentacion, like rage, rage. Oh yeah, this is this is happy it's happy rage. rage. I don't know. I'm feeling. I'm feeling a light, strong. <laughs> Nine? Uh, nah, that was fucking sick. Production, crazy. The outro, crazy. the outro absolutely just surprised me. I was, just, I, yeah. I, I completely forgot what the rest of the track was like, so I was so surprised by that switch up. That how was we, cool. How, was we, how are we doing in the comments? Uh, Our next track's The Cage. Anthony Fantano's here. Not really. Melanthi <laughs> Hetano? I mean, if you could like, this is fucking filth. If I was to die and choose music to ejaculate to, this would be my top top five tracks. And tell me how you're going to ejaculate if you're dead. Just tell me. There are ways. Explain. All right. So when your body, uh, the life leaves it, the 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 muscles still in the body. It's light. You can't you can't come when you're dead. I'm sorry. Exactly. I wish you could. That's a crazy song. The Cage is fucking nuts. One of my favorites, right? Oh, yeah. I think that track and Hustle Bones. Hustle Bones. Hustle Bones, The Cage. I think the second track, I can't remember that one, but like 
the, the, just the Cajun hustle bones, them two ones mainly, like they're fucked, the, the ones that have that real big energy surround you. I just want to give a shout out to Molly Rules uh, 999, who dropped a five dollar donation. Hey, shout out to Molly Rule. Molly Rules? Is that her name? Molly Rules, yeah. Shout oh, out to Molly his Rules. Name? Uh, <laughs> like Death Griff's trash posting on uh, Facebook. Yeah, there you go. So five bucks donated from uh, Molly Rules. Hey. I wonder why my lips bleed. We appreciate that. Probably because I jumped on you. We appreciate that support. Like, um, really. And if you guys want, like, the more likely, if you want us to go and review your music or something like that, you, that's a way to do it. Like, if you can't do Patreon, you can drop it here. Do the super chat. Mm -hmm. And, like, we'll most likely, like, review music if you want us. Oh. Want to give a Kanye one more shout out to someone else too? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah I want to give a shout out to Schultzy who says uh, he's been watching yours since the list of top 10 albums in 2016. That's, Damn, that's OG. That's right. dedication. Big shout out to you, man. Thank you very much. That's Much OG. appreciated. Oh, another two bucks dropped in by Molly. Hey, Molly. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Molly. Like, you live in Melbourne? Come through the studio. We got you. I think 12. They dropped another five. Are you serious? Yeah. Fuck, that's dope. Dollars. I was watching Anthony Fantano video, live stream. He's got about nearly 1 million subscribers. There were people dropping 20 to $50 every five to 10 minutes. Bro, watch this video game streamers, man. On dude, Twitch I watch and stuff. Dude, like, people I would drop thousands of dollars. Dude, dude they could drop Q hundreds. on like eight, eight, like eight zeros. Mm -hmm. like, Excuse me? Yeah, this a League of Legends streamer or something. Yeah, like he that. makes like seven figure, eight figure or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he gets streaming so much of streaming. And all the money does like advertising and like all that. Yeah. Have you watched his Delta Fox games? I haven't. Like, the cage is so fucking dope. Yeah. Um, I'm loving the direction of this um, this first album from them. Uh, I'm not glad. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I listened to this when I was 22 when this dropped, I might have appreciated it. I feel like, I don't know. Well, I'm appreciating it now, but fuck. Missed out. We're here now. We're here now. Punk weight. What the fuck? Ferris delivery boy. <laughs> Holy shit. That track really fucked with me. Some of the some of the switch-ups in that and like the parts we said like it just wasn't needed, but like it is for them because it's just the sound they're going for. Shut stuff just chucking shit in there for the fuck of it, but making it work. And was that a fucking bat at the end of the song? <laughs> I thought it was like someone like squeaking on the basketball court, or maybe like, you know, your mother biting on Halumi too hard. I don't know. What? You know how Halloumi like makes that squeaking sound in your mouth? Either way, that was a fucking dope track. <laughs> I didn't like the intro though. Yeah, the intro, I was looking at Chris sideways like, The intro... What are we, what are we doing? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, I didn't fuck with that intro. I can see, I can see what like, But this is so many varying different sounds from start to finish. Well, yeah, once I'm, again. I'm definitely seeing the... Definitely the, the industrial hip-hop side is the most prominent part, but there's still drum and bass through this album. There's still a lot of electro through this album. Yep. There's Rapping. Definitely one of the most prominent ones. So there's, there's definitely the main what there is, but they're adding huge influence of other genres in throughout this album. Next track. Fuck that. Hey, -ya! I love the tribal drums that we were just discussing. Yo, yeah, they were they were really cool, the drums throughout that track. And it's cool because you, you think that's sort of like the primary sound, but then if you listen to the back, like that's actually not the main beat driving it, that's just sort of like in the background. And like the way, some of the switch ups and the, the big sharp noises that come in through there as well that cut in there. And the, voc the vocals, I, I still don't know what the fuck he's saying anywhere on this album. No, no I have no idea. Like, I guess, isn't that amazing? We don't know what the fuck's going on like, lyrically. I'm, I'm probably gonna get back to this and check it out. I don't know if I'm gonna like what I'm hearing, but like, I, I really, I'm digging this album, so. Like, I, I can say this, I'm enjoying this album. 
Yeah. Mm. I, I love it. Dude, I like to fucking kick Cuddy's speed ball to heaven. So I'm probably going to like a lot of things. You know what? That's, that's a great uh, example. You have a, a very v- wide open uh, music taste. Mm hmm. And also, it gives me like, it's definitely giving me like slight ASAP rock vibes in terms of some of the production. So okay. that's why I'm digging a lot of the production on there as well. Second last track. Bitch. My boy. My boy. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Feeling that one. Death Grips is single handedly rewriting what my what music is for me. Like the, like I'm this is Man, that's the beautiful thing about music is you can you can pretty much create near anything and you know put it in a way that makes it your art and obviously put effort into it. And it's music. This is just a different like a different element of music we haven't heard before. Incredible. Just on that fact alone. Oh, yeah. Just oh, on that yeah. fact alone. Incredible. We got one more track left, unless you want to uh, speak on that one specifically. Um, nah. If you saw, I was wild the fuck out, so it was fucking good. Bitch, please. All good. Right. Bitch, please. Last track of The Money Store. The Money Store. Is Hacker. <laughs> Jungle motherfucking beats, death grips, the money store. That was. That was. You right there, homie? I don't know. He doesn't know. I don't know. I have so many questions, but I don't know what those questions are. That's how death grips make me feel. Did you? sort of lose who you were in that track a bit or lose just everything like you just sort of zone the fuck out yeah. like I zoned yeah. the fuck out and then all of a sudden I just came back and I was like it's almost like a hypnotic beat it was I zoned the fuck out I came back and I was like what the fuck I zoned back out again came back and I was like have I been listening to the same thing for the past like five minutes because that repeated right that kind of 80s 90s kind of I don't know man but I was but I enjoyed being hypnotic I enjoyed being hypnotized I, I really enjoyed just getting taken away and lost like that and a lot of the I feel like a lot of the rest of the album had so much sporadic changes but this track sort of like it did at the start but then it kind of kept it and so I kind of think that's it's a really beautiful way to end the album to have so many different noises and sounds changing constantly to the end where they just like have this long loop of just the same sound like how how weird is that it goes against it is it, it kind of like it goes against everything they did but then at the same time for them to keep the same throughout the whole album it's kind of exactly right. what they do as well oh so bitch. it's just like it's kind of them like like trying to do exactly what every artist wouldn't do it's like every time like they try they try to make a song it's like alright the next song we're going to do and they probably want to sound like this because we made this song last track but it's like you know they're just constantly like just trying to be different constantly just trying to create their own independency as, as like a band it's like they're reinventing themselves each and every yeah, time yeah that's, that's what I'm getting vibes from this album every time this is the first isn't it every time I kept like listening track by track I'm like it just kept changing it kept moving and just in ways that like it's just you just can't see it happening I'm guessing if you did see it happening, they'd be like, well, fuck, we're going to try something else. Look, at the end of the day, this is the first Death, death Grip pro, death grip project by both of us. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm a fan. 
I'm a, I'm a fan of this shit. Right. There was one track I didn't really like. It was probably the one that was, the one that I said that didn't really change too much. But it was at a point in the album where I just don't think it fitted in. But I, it's still, it was still good. But like the rest of the album, fuck yeah. Hustle Bones, fuck yeah. The Cage, fuck yeah. And uh, the track before that one as well. Bad Bitch. Bitch Please. Bitch Please. <laughs> that was a fucking dope track. Well, this shit. And we got five more albums to get to. Oh my God. Could you do it? This shit is like rethink, making me rethink what like my conventional music is. Like it's really good to, to have this taste. I really appreciate the creative mm. um, creativity it takes to create something so eclectic and so uh, out of the box. Um, mm, thank you so much again for the suggestion. Yeah, thank you for yeah. the people on Patreon who've been supporting us um, so selflessly uh, to see us cr- uh, Listen to this yeah, to this new music. I've, I've never listened to this shit, and thanks to you, I'm now probably going to go listen to more of this shit, yeah. but I can't. So, so thank you. <laughs> we're going to get to the more in the future. Hell yeah, Here's we a will. start. Mm-hmm. Um, please support us on Patreon if you can. If you can't, just watch the ads. YouTube, um, uh, if you skip the ads, I don't believe YouTube um, reward uh, it pays uh, con- uh, fucking people creators for it but if you just watch the ads if you can't support if you can't afford to pay on patreon maybe just watch those 20 ads. seconds for us man just let it play out just just <laughs> just a suggestion if you do want to support us in some other way otherwise you know we are just just watching and giving us love yeah is more than enough 100 100 man we'll survive death grips the money store jungle beats <laughs> But these streets give me nothing to stress The lawns are from the west But I shoot these bats, let's wear your vest Wanna see him bounce to this Wanna see him rock to this Go to apocalypse, escape Babylon Cut the battle and all, cut the blah 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 Take it to the nebula, that's what